Hello, my name's Sally and I work at the Salopian Garden in Hounslow. And today I'm going to talk to you about plants and all the different parts of a plant and how brilliant plants are. I've got lots of plants on my table here to show you. These ones are little tiny seeds just starting to grow. These ones are daffodils and you can nearly see the daffodil coming out. This is the top part here and that's going to turn into a flower very soon. This one is my favourite at the moment. This is a little crocus. And can you see its pointy leaves and its little yellow flowers? All plants have the same parts. They all have lovely leaves and these can be different shapes. This plant is a lemon. One day it will grow into a tree. At the moment it's quite bendy and quite small. It has a nice stalk growing up from the ground and the stalk holds all the leaves in place. This is a lemon plant that I grew from a pip, from a lemon. This plant has round patterned leaves and you can see the flowers just poking through. These flowers are pink. This plant is called a cyclamen and they're very beautiful. This plant is called a spider plant. Can you see why? <laughs> and it has very long leaves. This plant, like all plants, has lovely roots. I'll take it out of its pot, see if you can see them. There we go. Can you see the roots? Every plant has roots. Roots are really important. Roots are the really important part of the plant because they take in the water. They grow in the ground. You can see they've got little tiny roots here and they spread out in the soil and they absorb the water and it goes up into the leaves. I'm going to put my spider plant into a new pot. So I've made a hole and I'm going to put the roots into the hole in the compost and press them down very gently and spread them out. Then the compost covers the roots up because they need to be in the dark. Then you press the compost gently and hold the plant in place and then the roots will take up the water and keep the plant nice and stable. So I took that spider plant out of its pot and I've actually made three plants for my one spider plant. And now these are going to be very happy growing on in their pots. Their roots are buried deep in the soil and their leaves are long and green. Every plant starts from a seed, very small. And then a tiny root will come out of the seed and start taking up some water. And then a tiny shoot will grow. And at the top of this tiny shoot will be a little leaf. And it is the leaves that make the food for the plant to grow. These are all the important words that you need to know when you're looking at plants. Oh. 
but they're all jumbled up. Can you tell what they are? These are all the important words that you need to know when you're talking about plants. The root. Do you remember the roots from the spider plant? The stem. The lovely lemon tree had a stem. The leaves. And then the flowers. Do you remember the little crocus flower? Flowers are really colourful and they attract bees to pollinate the flowers. And when a flower has been pollinated, it can make a seed and then the process of growing can begin again. Thank you for watching my video about plants. Remember the words, got roots and shoots, stems, leaves, and then flowers. Bye-bye. Hopefully see you at the Salopian Garden.